Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. Um, you'll probably know, uh, notice, I'm sorry, right off the bat that some things are different. One, um, my visuals look better. The quality is better. I've got a new laptop, um, so we're going to try that out. Problem is the external speaker or uh, microphone I was using is USB and this is not USB, so not able to hook that up. So the sound is going to be more echoey, at least for this video for now. Uh, I'm sure there are adapters out there and I'll work something out to make it better. But if people could give me a little bit of feedback on this, uh, whether the visuals are that much better, um, which I think they should be, they look a lot better than the last laptop. Um, so if the visuals are that much better and the audio quality, if this is terrible because it's so echoey, or if it's okay for now, um, but I am going to try and remedy that. But anyway... The box that we're going to unbox is my second box of dread. If we remember last month, I got the January one, and I think that um, what was in there was, yeah, the the month of Shutter, uh, the uh, I bleed indie um, codes to see some uh, independent horror films on iBleedIndie.com, uh, the Mopies that I got, which was a little plush of uh, Michael Myers. Uh, Delirium Magazine and the, um, oh yeah, the DVD of Ginger Dead Man. So, uh, for this month, one of the things that was kind of spoiled uh, through the Facebook page for Box of Dread was that there will be another DVD. Totally fine with that. Like DVDs, especially if it's horror, I'm down with it. So they said this one would be from Epic Pictures. So I looked up Epic Pictures just to be like, well, what could I end up getting? Because I'm sure it's just going to be random for people. And Epic Pictures does two films. They do two films I'm familiar with. They do one of the uh, VHS films. Um, I think it's the VHS Viral. And they also do um, one that I really like because it's a good horror comedy. Big Ass Spider is what it's called. If you have not seen Big Ass Spider, you should definitely see it. And I'm really, really, really hoping that Big Ass Spider is the DVD that I got because I'd like to own that and I don't at the moment. So we can hope. Chances are I won't be getting that one because there are a lot more DVDs available so than just that one. So we'll see. Uh, the VHS one, I'd be cool with two, I believe, because I don't, you know, haven't, haven't seen all the VHSs. And I think the one that they have is not one that's, um, that I've seen. Okay, so just some tissue paper on top. First item. I think I did see that there's like a door something in there. So first item though, uh, I don't really like these things. My Moji, um, I don't know if people have seen these. It's just basically like a little head. Um, and for this one, it's a Ghostbusters My Moji. Uh, I don't think these things are that cool. I don't have any of them. I've seen unboxings for them. Uh, but, I mean, I'll give it a shot right here. Let me just open mine. Um... My emoji. Do I, I? I guess I hope I get Stay Puffed because he looks the most interesting. So I did not. I got random Ghostbuster. It doesn't say who it is, but it's just like a little head thing. I mean, it looks fine. It's just not totally great. I guess this is supposed to be. Um, I don't even know who it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be Spangler? I don't even know. Harold Ramis' character, maybe? I mean, they're okay. Like, the detail on them's not that great. They're pretty basic because they're supposed to be kind of like emojis. Like, I, I get the shtick with these things, but I they're just not for me. I don't like them all that much. But they do sit, so that's fine. And of the ones, like, this has an actual, like, detail piece of, like, the, the ghost uh, binoculars... Um, I guess it's like ghost night vision type stuff. So, um, that's fine because it's a little more detailed, but I'm not, just not a huge fan of that kind of stuff. I, I'm fine that they put it in here because who knows, there may be people who really like it, but just for me personally, I'm, I'm just not a huge fan of that one. Um, yeah, there's one thing in the way, so I gotta get it out. Oh, okay. So this must be like a Ghostbusters type theme overall. So we got another Ghostbuster thing, and this is a door. I don't have any dorbs. Uh, I think they're kind of a little simplistic, much like the My Moji thing. So I'm more uh, apt to like the Funko Pops themselves as opposed to the dorbs. But the, 
Uh, this Dorb actually looks more interesting than the typical Dorbs I see, be, probably because it is Ghostbusters. So this one is, oh, and it's a limited chase one. Oh, very cool. It's a limited chase. Did everybody get a limited chase one? Because that'd be really cool. It's Peter Venkman. Um, and yeah, I guess it's probably the limited chase one, if you can see it. Uh, it's probably the limited chase because he's got all the, the green ooze, the slime on him. And then in the back, you can see, I don't know how well you can't see, like, there's slime on him on there. And he's got, you know, there's pretty good detail in the pack. So, yeah. These types of things I'm not going to take out, just in case. Um, but, yeah, that's cool. And it's a chase. That's really cool. I just wonder, I like I said, I wonder if, like, everyone got the chase. That's cool. That's really cool, actually. Like I said, I'm not, t I, I'm not down with you know, the dorbs typically, but that's actually a pretty cool, like, well-done dorb. Next thing, oh, nice. I've, I've, uh, seen these before, and I don't have any, but these are the, oh, it's a pen. I was thinking maybe it was a pencil. Um, so these are the pop pens, and they have horror figures on some of them, and this one is. It's Nightmare on Elm Street, Freddy Krueger. So that's really cool. Look at that. For being that small, that's pretty good detail. Yeah, that's cool. And then it says, um, it says right there, Nightmare on Elm Street, if you can see. Barely. The lighting's not that good. I see something that small. Okay, thus far, pretty good. And then I'm assuming what's left is just the, uh, no? Yes. It's just the DVD, I think. Yeah, just the DVD. So put that out. Oh, okay. Huh. Okay, so this is a epic... Is this by Epic Pictures? Yes, it is by Epic Pictures. I didn't. I don't think I saw this one on the site, but um, it's called it's Bear, and literally it's a bear that like I guess destroys people's cars. That's what it looks like. But it's signed, which is super cool uh, for them to get like an actual signed DVD. That's really awesome. That's like a cool special awesome thing. Uh, I just wonder who signed it. Um, don't know because they don't, they don't send you any sort of like printout or anything to tell you that kind of stuff, which kind of sucks. I wish they could. I knew, I know that's just an extra expense though. So, you know, um, but it says it's all real bear action. Two young couples are driving through a remote forest when their car breaks down. When a run in with a curious grizzly bear ends up with the bear being shot to death, the bear's mate arrives on the scene and vengefully attacks their van. The couples are trapped inside the disabled car and must come up with clever ways to survive. As they battle the surprisingly intelligent creature and contemplate their uncertain fate, secrets begin to emerge that threaten to tear the group apart before the bear does. This could happen in real life. A bear could attack you, you know? Actually, now that I uh, think about it, they had sent an email... And in, the, in their shipping email, they had a th big thing that was like, spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. So I didn't read any further. So I'm guessing they probably have a breakdown of all this stuff. So they might have the information on who signed this. So I'm just going to pull that up right now. Duh, duh, duh. Um, uh, oh, it has a breakdown on the website. So there's a link in this email that goes to the site. And then... It, <laughs> It says that it can't connect to it. It says error establishing a database connection. So there's actually a problem with the site, so I can't even access it. So um, I guess people just have to try and find out who signed it. Or I can put something in the comments just letting people know if they want to know. But at any rate, um, yeah, a signed DVD, cool. I'll check this out. I like that it's signed. That's an added nice little uh, extra. Very nice. Uh, the pop... Um, Freddy Krueger pen, I like that. The Mymoji, eh, I can see where some people would like it, so that's fine with me. Uh, of the ones available, uh, I think this is probably one of the better ones, so that's cool. Um, and the Dorb, the Dorb is really cool, actually. Looks really good, it's cute, it's got slime on it, and it's Ghostbusters, which is always cool. And it's a limited chase, so, I mean, I feel like for what you're paying for this, this is a this is a decent value. Um, it's like 20 bucks. That's including shipping and everything. It's like $20. It's like 14 bucks and then like six for shipping. 
So for 20 bucks, like, that's fine. I mean, I'm totally, totally good with it. So anyway, happy once again uh, with the Box of Dread. And I also like that it's, you know, a smaller operation than a lot of these other boxes, like your nerd blocks and your loot crates and stuff like that. So um, Box of Dread, you do a good job again. Thank you so much. Uh, this February one was nice. Can't wait to find out what's in next month's, because um, based off of this and the last one, it'll be cool. It'll be fun. So anyway, uh, everyone, thank you for checking this out. Please don't forget to give me any sort of criti criticisms of, you know, the video in general uh, from the standpoint. Well, I mean, whatever you want, but <laughs> mainly I'm looking for the standpoint of is the audio really bad because it's so echoey and is the quality significantly better than the last uh, version. Also, there will be more videos coming out that I've already recorded on the last laptop, so the quality is going to revert back for some of the videos I'm putting out, and that's like mystery mini unboxings, and if you watch my beer videos, it's like one beer video. So, at any rate, everybody, thank you for checking the, out this unboxing, and until next time, keep it brutal. Oh, if I can turn it off.